Vincent here. Today, I want to talk to you about Wes Anderson's The Royal Tenenbaums. In particular, about composition and blocking. Let's have a look at the scene I want to discuss first, shall we? I'm not in love with you anymore. I didn't know you ever were. Let's not make this any more difficult than it already is. Okay. Okay what? Okay, I'm not in love with you either. Yes, I know. You're in love with Richie, which is sick and gross. Do you send my mother your clippings? And your grades from college? Please stop belittling me. You never gave me the time of day till I started getting good reviews. Your reviews aren't that good. But the sales are. I think this is such an amazingly blocked scene. Just a quick note, in case you don't know, blocking is the placement of subjects, actors in front of the camera. Why is this visually such a strong scene? First off, the acting is pretty good, the styling, what clothes the characters wear, the color palette, it all fits the mood of the film. But that's not what I want to talk about right now. Instead, let's talk about the image the camera captured. The shots have a lot of leading lines, directing the eye of the viewer where to look. More about directing the viewer's eye later. Those leading lines also reinforce the movement of the characters. They all come together at the center of the image. But the characters are distant toward each other. She is a depressed, secretive loner. He is there to break up with her. In the image, we see the distance the characters feel towards each other. See how there's even a gap in the leading lines that bring the characters together? Showing that they won't come together. That is not an accident. That is by design. By careful camera placement. Now we move to an over-the-shoulder shot. We see both Margot and Eli together in the frame still. They are still somewhat connected, but the distance between them has grown. Their balance has shifted. Though they are together on screen still, they are also separated. There is a metal pole in the background separating them, isolating her. She is walled off. There is a barrier between them. We have seen this metal pole before. It was there in the background in the previous shot, right behind the back of Owen Wilson's character, so it doesn't come as a surprise when it creates a barrier. Eli looks smaller than he did before. He's alone, small, weak and powerless, with leading lines going into the distance. As Eli insults her, we see her looking startled and hurt. The camera pans and frames Margot all alone. She no longer dominates the frame as she did before. Now she looks a little bit smaller and weaker, enhancing Gwyneth Paltrow's performance. Margot returns a hurtful remark. As the camera pans, Eli gets framed alone, with the barrier between him and where we know Margot is standing off screen. They have separated and the framing shows us that. Even without the dialogue you can tell what's going on in this scene. They no longer share the screen. They are not together anymore. Margot's question really hurt Eli, and she crosses the barrier between them to comfort him. But something has changed. They no longer face each other. Instead they stand next to each other. In that way they are perhaps emotionally closer to each other than at the start of the scene. Before we go, let's quickly talk about directing the viewer's eye again. Let me play you this scene again, but with a line edit at more or less the height of the character's eye line. I'm not in love with you anymore. I didn't know you ever were. Let's not make this any more difficult than it already is. Okay. Okay what? Okay, I'm not in love with you either. Yes, I know. You're in love with Richie, which is sick and gross. 
Do you send my mother your clippings? And your grades from college? Please stop belittling me. You never gave me the time of day till I started getting good reviews. Your reviews aren't that good. But the sales are. See for how the entire scene, everything that's important happens in that area. Even when the camera moves, our eyes don't have to move. It creates a very calm, pleasing image. There is more I could say about this scene, but let's leave it at this for now. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Do you want me to do more in the future? Let me know. Bye bye. P.S. Watch the Royal Tenenbaums.